All right, so here we are. We're at the New England Aquarium, formerly known as the Boston Aquarium. About to jump on these duck boats. Miriam. Look, it's the same color. Yeah. My jacket. Okay. And this is the aquarium right here. watches here I remember when I was a little kid we went in like fifth grade on a whale watch amazing definitely highly recommend the whale watches cuts through the entire city of Boston. Part of the big, big project. Hello. Floor back in the 50s. Nice and cozy. Wow. They got jealous made there. Cable State Bridge, five feet wider, intentionally. So ours used to be the widest on earth. Everybody put your helmets on. Lasheroonie. That's Italian. We are now a boat. It's magic. Successful transformation. Do it justice. Go in the basement. Open the door like you own the place. Let's say Norm, and then watch how furious the staff gets. <laughs> Shelly Long, Ted Danson, Woody Harrelson. Look at the hook is raised, indicating he was wounded in battle. He was not wounded in battle. That was sculpted in the 1890s. So the thing goes one hook up. Must put Traffic Street in the city. Three quarters of a mile of shopping. They got a channel, they got a Rolay. Red brick part, that was built in 1798. Under construction. You can still take a picture. There's a poster in front to show you what it's supposed to look like. You can take a picture now. Yeah. They read the Declaration of Independence from this balcony every July 4th. Originally it was 1942, nicknamed the Cradle of Liberty. Because of all the fiery speeches given there, the build-up, and after the American Revolution, street performers here, they get auditioned to perform here, so they're actually usually pretty good.
Go. He went into like a little cave. Though. Mm -hmm. 
Size of a car. He's so fat. Oh, he is eating up there. GoPro in and, and let it go all the way to the bottom and just catch the footage. Um, they kind of make the rules in their area, they'll push out the other witch. Um, Myrtle, I know she's a queen of the tank. Uh, she's in the longest, she's the biggest, no one's gonna mess with her. If uh, there are any. I think they look funny. Yeah, they're coming.
<laughs> really? Party last night, and he's been talking about these cocktails. We're gonna go into Bar Taco and get a reviver. A reviver. He's got a game on. All right, so this is the reviver. Yes. It was honestly called the reviver last night. All right. It's the reviver. Let's feel revived. Cheers, man. I want to see how the GoPro is when we're going upstairs if I'm running up the stairs. Running up the stairs, let's see. All right.
first man ever buried here back in 1660 but as you can see he was not the last mm -hmm. if you had to guess how many gravestones did you say are around this place 312 280. all very specific and all way off 2300 wow and there used to be more at the peak there were 3000 tombstones in here but over time 700 of them just sort of went missing <laughs> and you know they wound up in the buildings all around us. See, if you're constructing a building like one of those, you need a foundation, you know, some good flat, smooth stones to be your base. And you could go all the way down to the quarry in Quincy, harvest the stone there, cut it yourself, drag it back, lug it up the hill, or just hop the fence into the graveyard, grab one of these many ready-made stones right out of the ground. That's what a lot of people did. Mm -hmm. Well, you gotta put your back into it. Huh? <laughs> Just about every building you see around here on this side has at least a few tombstones lying flat in the basement. And there's one instance which had nothing to do with building, it had to do with baking. When a baker he built on it, it was owned by a mother and a father with two sons. And when they died, they left their sons the land, but they didn't specify how it should be divided up. They figured the boys could handle that themselves, and they were dead wrong. In addition to just dead. You see, when they died, their elder son was away from home fighting in the Civil War. So his younger brother handled the estate. And he took that land and built himself a nice big house, using almost all of it, leaving his brother a tiny little sliver for himself. And when his brother returned home, he was furious, of course. But he didn't just throw up his hands and storm away like his brother had hoped. No, instead, he took that bit of land he'd been left and he built himself a house. A nice, tiny, narrow, impractical, skinny house that is just tall enough and just perfectly placed so that it blocks the light and ruined the nice view of Cops Hill from his brother's bedroom window. <laughs> that ceiling is the last thing you ever see. Your name was Mary Sullivan. You were 19 years old. And you were the 13th and final victim of the Boston Strangler. And you live right here. Two floors above the Paramount on your right is the very apartment where Mary was killed. That's hallowed ground, folks. Drink it is. Very close. 9,000 bodies are buried in this graveyard. Now for the celebrity portion of our tour. Right on that corner, 
we have Samuel Adams, and right across the street we have the Bean Town Pub. That corner is the only corner in the world where you can toast a cold Sam Adams to a cold Sam Adams. <laughs> modeled after a pen. It is because he is known for his ginormous signature on the Declaration of Independence. And right behind me, we have Benjamin Franklin's parents! <laughs> Benjamin Franklin hated Boston. He would not be caught dead here. Instead, he is buried in Philadelphia and we are stuck with the parents. <laughs> now, Palermo Deer was a very humble man throughout his life. All of this glitz and glamour was too much for him. He just wanted a simple headstone with the words Revere's Tomb on it. And did we give it to him? Yes! yes! You would be surprised how many people look at the headstone and say no. <laughs> you can come closer, you can take a look if you want. I don't bite. <laughs> It does. <laughs> it does say Revere's Tomb on it. What do you think, baby? Scary? That was awesome. I loved how dramatic they were. <laughs> it's good times. All the stories were really cool. Nice, whatever it is. Cobra.